Winter Olympics opening ceremonies are less than 24 hours away, so we thought, what a better time to challenge our brains than with a round of Olympics trivia. My competition today, evening co-host Jim Dever and King 5 sports anchor Chris Egan. Testing our knowledge today is the man who may know more about the Olympics than anyone. King 5 <laughs> operations manager Greg Thies. Thank you for being here, Greg. Now, yeah. you've actually taken part in more than a few Olympics before. Uh, this will be uh, number 14 that I've worked uh, wow. in and covered. Uh, so we traveled to seven of them. Uh, Mr. Egan and I uh, should have been in Tokyo and we couldn't, uh, but uh, this would have been number eight or nine for me. It's, it's always an amazing experience when you go. And, and to get to see these athletes uh, compete after they've been working so hard, and sometimes we get to know them, if we're lucky, about you know a couple years in advance as they, as they are hopeful. So. That is so great. So you really are a part of that journey with, with Chris. I, we are so lucky to have you both. But we're about to not be friends because <laughs> let the games begin. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. We're going to have a little competition. i got some questions here for each of you. Oh, uh, I'll ask you the question. You'll have about 10 seconds to write down your answer. That's and not enough. And then everybody's going to hold up their board uh, at the same time, uh, theoretically. So uh, why don't we get started with something here? You're ready to uh, go with something. Let's go with something simple to start. Okay, okay. Name Dude. the colors of the Olympic rings. I can tell you why the colors. Uh, uh, running out of time here, guys. We are? Yeah. Here One, two, oh, three. and there's the bell. Got to really? hold up your answer. I only got, got three got? down. Looks like we've got, you got three down. It is black and red and green. And yes, blue and yellow are the other ones uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. Hey, but you want to know why those are the colors, y'all? Because they rep because the colors are from every flag that is represented. Uh -huh. Each one, has one of those every colors. country's flag has at least one of those colors. Yeah, I, thank I you for saying that. I need to be quicker. I'm a little slower here. <laughs> okay, we'll make these a little quicker. Well, that now was hard like... to write five words. All right, all right. That takes some time. We'll, we'll do a little simpler one here. Okay, okay hang on. Name... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm right. Well, you can add this on. Oh, it won't be that long. Uh, name the country where the first Winter Games were held. I. Oh. Egan's already. <laughs> uh, shoo. Winter Games. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, eh. France, folks. Oh. France. Oh. Chamonix. Don't yeah, I get a half Chamonix. point for there Norway? Dang, I knew that. Okay. Somewhere in the very back of my brain, I knew that. <laughs> well, we'll have to give you more time next time to get to the back of your brain there. So. Thank you. We're not uh, doing great right now. You can't give me like this four true, days. True or false? This one. Beijing oh. will be the first. Uh, first city ever to host both the winter and the summer games. True or false? Ah, Mr. Egan. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're wrong. I'm wrong. Oh! Everybody else is right. <laughs> right uh, I'm pretty sure Puyallup hosted the winter <laughs> and the summer games. I, I gotta check my history. Technically, it was Enumclaw. It was Enumclaw. It was technically Enumclaw. And I think Buckley hosted the summer games in Enumclaw the winter. It's kind of the general area, yeah. right? That's okay. <laughs> okay, which North American city was the most recent to host a Winter Olympics? I should know this. Yeah, you should have this one. I mean, I'm not looking. I'm not cheating. Not like Jim Dever is over there. <clears throat> this is not a five-part question, there, Jim. There we go. Oh, uh, mm, well, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, oh, I can't. This is wrong. Yeah. I know. Wait, what is that? No, 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 no. Mr. Egan gets this one. Yes. It is Vancouver, and I said North American. There we go. No, you uh, said North American. I said, I there said we go. Denver. I don't know. I think we had like that. Could we like play that tape game. back? I'm pretty sure you just said American, Canada's not North part American. Of North America, no, no, no. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was like our. Come on, folks. This was like I our didn't hear Olympics have, in Vancouver. You know what? I'm way over here in the distant remote <laughs> camera location. Uh, all I heard was <laughs> American. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this one? Here, here we go. In what year? And in what U.S. city oh, were the most recent Winter Olympics? Uh, oh. Here, most recent. What okay, I should have just left my. I should have just left my answer up. <laughs> you erased it. Well. <laughs> We got 2000, 2000. Oh, that's a zero. That's, that's a, a zero. zero. 2000, 2000. Mr. Dever, 2002. Oh, Salt Lake City. Two? There you that go. should have been a two. Oh, there. That was a two. Mine was a two. Jim is going complete answer there. Okay. I'm going for gold, baby. Good job, Jim. <laughs>
Okay, the United States. Here we go. Now we're going into some history trivia here. Now, is United this the United States, States, States hockey team or the United States of Canada? This? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. This, the United States men's hockey team beat this country in the famous Do You Believe in Miracles game. Great moments, Greg, come from great opportunities, and that's what we have here today. Ah, Mr. Dever. It was the Soviet Union. Yes, it was not you Russia. Know. Oh, come on. Trick question. Russia, Trick question. Russia, this, Russia okay, was not uh, a participant. The, the, USS, yeah. oh. the USSR Ooh. was the participant that and year. They it was it. beat them for the gold medal. They beat Sweden. For they the beat gold. Finland. But go they ahead. Beat, I didn't say gold. I just said, uh, yeah. Keep trying, buddy. They, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I can't Some, believe Jim Dever is let, winning. Let's go a little more recent here. A little more recent. Yeah. Which country? Did the U.S. beat in Pyeongchang for the gold medal in men's curling? Mr. Egan, the pressure is on. Yeah, man, for you. <laughs> wow. You just Whew. mentioned this. <laughs> we just mentioned it? Is that well, a good? Well, you yeah, mentioned 2018 in the men's curling team. Yeah, but I uh, I was drinking beer and having chicken. <laughs> that was there we go. I have no, you know what? I just I forfeited the round because. Ah, I no. Sweden. Oh, Sweden. I think they beat Norway in the I, no, is Norway so close? My, my handwriting's close, okay. really bad. You could see that <laughs> oh, said that Sweden. Oh, that said Sweden. Okay. Is right. that in the North American parts as well? Okay. Yeah, the North American part of Sweden. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, this should be simple. All right. Snowboarder, snowboarder, Sean White yeah. was known by this nickname. Oh, my gosh. This is just funny. I hear the bell coming. Here we go. And <laughs> I, think that, I think there's a restaurant in Puyallup, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> the Flying Tomato is oh. correct. Oh. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I knew there was I a tomato in there. I think I might be disqualified for cheating, though. Uh, one more. Okay, okay one more. more. Tell more. Simple, simple, simple. Yeah. Okay. True, true or false? Okay. Dog sledding was once an Olympic competition. But only an exhibition game in 1928. Ah, it was a it was a demonstration sport so in no 1932 medal was given. Oh, and 1952. I'm sorry. There you go. It's Jim, true. Yeah. Did you study for this? Wait, who won? I'm sorry. The judges I just love are Olympics. I'm, I'm going for Chris Egan's According job. According to the judges, Chris, I did not. We did win. not win. No. Gold goes to Jim Dever. Who yeah, got the, the bronze? Gold. We do have we do have medals for y'all. Everybody's got Silver a Silver is uh, Chris Egan and the bronze. Actually, I was disqualified because I cheated, but that's fine. <laughs> that all right, fun. thank you all, all so you. much. Yeah, I mean, cheating is a great tradition in the Olympics. Well, you should, let's you not go there. Over. Hey, thanks for spending time with us today. All of you, all of you, check our website for more content, and we'll see you after the Winter Games.